Howdy folks, Tex Scrabner here with Tex Scrabner Outdoors. I am big into steampunk, I'm big into cosplay. Now, if you don't know what steampunk is or what genre that would be, think of Will Smith in the Wild Wild West movie. That is a good representation for generic steampunk. So, while I'm at it, if you don't know what cosplay is, cosplay is basically dressing up as a character that is fictional or creating a fictional character to dress up as, to go to parties, to walk around, so on. Now, I am weird. I am kinky, and I am absolutely awesome because I am me. Why make it ordinary when you can make it extraordinary. So today we're going to be making it weird. Now this video is dedicated to Isabella the Little Skylark who cosplays as Lucy. Also this video is dedicated to Mina because if you have seen the Francis Ford Coppola Dracula you will recognize this particular buoy knife. Now I was invited to the Vampire Ball in Denver, Colorado, but quite frankly, even though I have eccentric taste, I quite frankly cannot afford to go attend, but this is my Quincy Morris buoy. It is actually an officially licensed movie prop replica from Columbia Pictures. If you like videos like this, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to share it on your social media because, yeah, I got plenty more weird where this came from. I am a big fan of steampunk slash Victorian era gothic literature. Oddly enough, I would consider myself to be more of a werewolf in the fetish scene, but that doesn't mean that I don't get to hang out with a lot of really sexy vampires. So, Dracula is an excellent Victorian Gothic novel. If you don't know what Victorian Gothic novels are, I'll give you a brief explanation. Think Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Think, of course, Dracula. Most people have read Dracula. Most people have seen the Francis Ford Coppola adaptation. My opinion is this Dracula adaptation is the only Dracula adaptation. It is an excellent book and I love things from Lord Byron, Mary Shelley, Bram Stoker, Oscar Wilde, and of course Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. So that's basically the genre that I'm into as far as my fictional literature goes. This is, as you can see, Bram Stoker's Dracula, TM, 2001, Columbia Pictures, Industries, All Rights Reserved, X Factory, or Factory X. So this is the actual, or one of the actual, Bram Stoker's Dracula prop knives that I paid a lot of money for back in the day. What I love about the actual novel Dracula and this is, in fact, an illustrated version, unabridged. But what I love about it is that it is actually written, if you've never actually full-on read Dracula, it is actually written as diary entries. If you want to be scared to your very soul, the core of your black little heart, Watch Bram Stoker's Dracula strung out on Wormwood Absinthe. Now people say, 
Absinthe is non-hallucinogenic unless you consume it in copious quantities. Well, guess what? Tex Grebner, when he drinks absinthe, consumes copious amounts of absinthe. But, this is in fact a battle-ready buoy. So we're going to turn this into a knife review now that I'm taking it out of my fringed Quincy Morris sheath. got nice scroll work engraving but it is pretty much a useless knife the reason being that it is very heavy of course because of the rhinoceros pommel it is as I said battle ready so it is in fact sharp but I'm going to give you a good close look at this, being careful not to cut myself. This is like a combination between a hammer and a knife. I mean, it's just ridiculously heavy. So here you can see it in all its glory, the Quincy Morris buoy, which is quintessential, quite honestly, to my Dracula cosplay outfit. With that being said, however, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it, because I've got plenty more weird where this came from. As always, God bless all my sportsmen of America. Join the NRA to protect our rights. Please got my friends over at LegallyConcealed.org. Thank you very much to those involved in law enforcement and those who serve in the military. And thanks for watching Tech Scrubner Outdoors. When in doubt, make it weird.